Welcome and please subscribe to the channel for travel, fashion and how-to videos. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Aarti from My Fashion Lifestyle. And as you know, today I am going to give you the latest shopping that I've done from Sarojini Nagar. So this is my Sarojini Nagar Market Monday Shopping Market Hall. Today I'm in Delhi and this is the Sarojini Nagar Market and I'm going to do my shopping and I'll also be doing a haul. And I grabbed a lot of stuff from Westerns and a little bit of jewelry as well. I haven't grabbed anything in Indian wear but you also get a lot of kurtas and dress materials and sarees because they're also shops. And uh, the myth that went off that Sarajanagar is normally closed on a Monday and you visit it on a Monday. Actually you can visit it on a Monday just the way I did and the market is live. There are a lot of people who are also selling clothes which are cheaper compared to the other days like you can also get them from the piles they're for 100 for 50 for 25 so that depends on the type of clothes you want to buy or you can also grab them from the stalls which are outside the shops that are closed which sell them on a cheaper rate than normal days as well like suppose if something was for 200 150 they would sell it for 100 especially on Monday so Monday is a very important day and you can also grab more brands because you know that the market is famous for defects or rejects of the import qualities and the exports of course so you do find big brands like Zara, H&M and some other brands as well which are well known in India as well. And first of all if you haven't subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe to it right now and you can also subscribe to my travel blog channel which is a channel that I and my husband handle on my other channel so I will link it somewhere over here and I will be linking my Delhi blog in the description so I'm going to start with the haul right now. So the first one is um, this I bought it at the middle lane and this one is a plaid shirt it's big in size and it's, the fabric is so beautiful it's soft and this was for 150 we bargained it it was around 350 my sister and I bargained it down to 150 and it's soft as you can see it's got a placket on the center and then it's uh, just checks as it's supposed to be it's in grey and black so this was for 150 then I grabbed this top which is in an aqua color this is a conscious style of a top and it's a cotton of course and it's got pompoms on the side and both sides in white this was also for 150 we grabbed this from the fixed stalls stores which have uh, clothes hang on them and they are like fixed prices so this was for 150 and uh, I bought another one this one is for me and we bought another one for my sister also in the same color the same fabric just slight different design this is like the top that we bought also for 150 it's off shoulder sleeves and it's got detailing again on the neckline over here so I'm going to show you again what we bought from the middle this is pretty top in Georgette I like this top, this is for my sister and it's in grey, it's shaded if you can see it and this one also you actually have to check everything you buy over there because you don't want to come over with defect pieces so this one was also for 350 but we bargained it down to 150 so this is like a casual where you can wear it as a dress or with your leggings or jeggings Next I'm going to go to the pile where we shop for clothes from the fixed racks which were 200 again. So this is most of the clothes I got are knitted wears that I'm going to show you right now or winter wears. Because it's off season clothing and styles that you grab there these are cheaper but if you shop for something in the season might be a slight more expensive. So this one is just a normal tank top and it's 100 rupees, it's grey and it's knitted. Next I grab this one which is a patlan kind of top. Again it's knitted, it's off-white. Oh sorry, this one is also for 100. So these are from the fixed racks that we bought. And if you're in Sarojini, remember you have to go with big bags or jolas or something where you can get all your shoppings in. Again this one is for 100, it's in stripes and it's knitted again. And you also have to make sure that the clothes you buy are good quality, they are worn. Sometimes you can find clothes which are second hand. So you need to be good with judging the clothes. Then I have this overwear shirt. It's a beige shade. And it's like a tie-up. It's got tie-ups. And this one was for 100 as well. Then I have this other shirt. So this ones are like uh, styles which are going to stay in. They're not going to go out of trend even next year. So you can shop for clothing which is off season for sure at certain market. So this one again is 
for 100 rupees, etc. And if you got a poncho style sleeves, you got these are short sleeves. Fine. Then I grabbed these plazos, which are uh, 100 rupees. They were supposed to be for 200 because it was Monday market. We grabbed them at 100 each. So we bought three because you know plazos are like really much in trend. And you can wear them with your western wear tops or your kurtas these days. So, and these are like in real cotton, so the fabric quality is very, very good. Again, I've got another top which is a knitwear once more. Sorry, that's the back. This one is also in a cream and it's a boxy top. And it's got a little bit golden also in the knit. And this is the back side. This one is also for 200 rupees. So yes, I did get a lot of good warm wear winter wears which are perfect for the upcoming season. And I grabbed this shrug which is in a navy color. It's a long shrug. So this is perfect for any season when you just want to get warm. So it's in a navy color. It's long. It's got long sleeves. We bought two. This is also for 200. We bargained it. We said around 500 and it came down to 200. We bought another one in gray for my and I bought this pants, these are joggers actually, denim joggers. So these were, I don't know how much they were for, but we paid 200 for these pairs. And they're quite nice, they're a bit stretchable and they're not very thick, so they're comfortable and I think they're good for the hot practice as well. Now, there was a lot of jewelry that we could buy. I did buy a few pieces, neck pieces, like I bought this one. This is 400 and actually it was more but uh, because it was a Monday market you get stuff cheaper so we got this for 100 from the shops which they sell stuff outside on the steps we got some tribal kind of rupees because of the beach work and all and you know that I am a big fan of such African jewelry so I grabbed this one for me to the travel channel for travel guides.